My name is Gisela Villarreal and I'm with the WIC program. Today we're going to make some spinach quesadillas. So I'd like to show you what I'm going to do. We're using 100% whole wheat tortillas. I'm going to place four on the griddle. And you have, I have it heated to, it's actually preheated. Go ahead and put it to 350. I have, uh, I've got some uh, Monterey Jack cheese here and I've wilted some spinach down with a little bit of oil, about a tablespoon. So I'm going to go ahead and put some cheese on, as soon as these warm up a little bit, I'm going to put some Monterey Jack cheese on here and then I'm going to put some spinach. Uh, you can use red pepper if you like, or onion, whatever toppings you'd like to put on, and then another tortilla on top. Okay. Take our spinach, a little bit of spinach on top, cheese. I'm going to go ahead and put some red pepper. You know that this is a lot of vitamin A. Good for you. So Let's now I'm going to put a little bit more cheese up on top. I'll put a little bit of red bell pepper for your vitamin A. I'm going to put a couple little strips, just a tiny bit, just to give it a little bit of color. bit more cheese up on top and then we're going to put another tortilla and then we're going to flip it. That's how I make mine. Okay, almost done here. One on top. Here we go. And it's already browning on that side. Mm -mm. It's easy. Okay, just double checking to make sure we're Browning. Okay, needs a little bit more on this side. And this is really good for the children. The kids, I mean, what child does not like cheese? Most of your kids like cheese. And you can change it up. You can use cheddar cheese, Kobe cheese. This happens to be the Monterey Jack. But your whole wheat tortillas and your cheese, of course, you get on this part of your wick benefit. So. If you're on wick, you can use everything that you get on wick. Your spinach, your cheese, the tortillas. So it's really simple. I think I'll be able to make two more. All right, these are done. Let's get these out. like this at home, don't worry, you can use any soft pan, just a big frying pan, you can do this on. 
do, one at a time. Go ahead and stack my this of these here if you want to wait a little bit so they don't slide and then you can cut them in fourths. Okay, and we've got some guacamole there if you want to add that, add to that. We've got a bean salad here that is a can of black beans, onion, corn. We've got some garbanzo beans here and a little bit of the uh, Italian dressing. Looks really good. Of course, if you like salsa on there, if, you know, some kids eat salsa, you can put salsa on your quesadillas as well. Okay, I'm going to do two more. I can do two more. Okay. All right. Got a little bit of, uh, kind of an effort. We're going to put some cheese on these, guys. have any leftover chicken, leftover beef from the barbecue yesterday, you can add that to it as well. Use your leftovers. the last two and we plate it here you can see the quesadillas we put a little guacamole on here a little bit of salsa here's a, the bean salad looks pretty doesn't it and like I said you can you can add your own toppings um, but this is something that is quick and healthy for your family once again and right now we're going to make a quick uh, healthy snack for you and I just want to show you it's a slice of raisin bread put a little butter on one side you're going to toast it just a little bit and we're going to flip it flip it over on your griddle here we're going to put a little bit of uh, this is cream cheese a quarter cup of cream cheese with a tablespoon of strawberry preserves. And you're gonna put that on top of your toast and then a little bit of strawberries. And this is what you have. And this, again, here again, you can put blueberries, you can use whatever fruit you wanna use for your healthy snack. And remember, we do these cooking classes here at WIC all the time with our health fairs. So y'all come down to the health fairs and come see what we're cooking. Thank you, bye-bye.